Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Bio Omega and Iran. So, in the last episode and the one before, we've actually managed to work our way through most of the important focuses in the Iran first tree. And we've even done some interesting ones outside of that. But Iran first was really our major focus, and for today we are going to work on the, well, Irost tree. I would like to work through all of them to get the bonuses to stability and the research and further lower the health cost. And after that we might look at either the Vaja or some of the military focuses so that we can get some more dockyards and military practice. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna react to the situation as it develops. At this point we are having a pretty decent uh, 725 million weekly balance which might eventually lead to us now uh, dropping our debt a bit because the debt to GDP ratio is quite high now at 32.9% but it is nowhere near critical uh, still we're paying 252 million per week in interest rates so any way how we can lower it is going to be good and I'm actually planning to continue uh, building things that will help us with that. On the other hand, uh, we have uh, recently had a bit of a problem because our fast growth economy uh, was downsized to stable growth. If we want to upgrade it, we can, but it's going to cost us 360 political power and about 94 billion dollars so I'm not sure we want to do that at this point we're just gonna wait it out and see how the economy is going to do anyway we are researching uh, the Fajr 224 weapon uh, but uh, that's gonna take quite some time instead in this episode we will probably finish the microcomputing and the GPRS which are both going to help us with research, so we should have a 10% boost to research. And then the factory output is going to increase by 5% and reinforce rate by 2%. Pretty good. And you are also helping with the output. Yep. Okay, so with that said, let's unpause. Our focus on influencing Iraq is actually working kind of good. We're already at 14.45%. Oh, and we've finished upgrading all of our ships, haven't we? I think we did. I think we did. Well, we don't really have... Hmm. How would we do it? Do we want to get one of those mine-laying corvettes already? Oh, well, I guess we do, I guess we do. So we're going to use the Cena class as the template and let's see what we can do with it. So let's, yeah, we're going to have to save it as new. Uh, let's change the white helipad, oh, well, let's change the, what was it? The chain guns to a light helipad, which is gonna give us extra sub detection, surface detection, and mine sweeping. And let's change the anti ship missiles to into the mine layer, which is gonna give us mine laying of three. And what do we have here? 76 millimeter rapid fire guided ammo light weapon. Uh, the point defense, no, that's not great. We can keep it there. Yeah, it's the best uh, thing that you can have. We have the anti-ship missiles too. I'd actually prefer if we had anti-submarine. Yeah, let's put anti-submarine there. We do have a radar and sonar. Digital integrated fire control system, that's fine, and you have a light diesel powered engine. Okay, and we are going to call you... Well, you're gonna be manufactured in... 
Uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's go with Hormus, Hormus class because they're gonna be patrolling there. So Hormus class, uh, save as new and save you. Okay, so Hormus class, and we'll need to build. Let's build four of you, which is gonna be the basis of the IGR. No, RR I. RGC, yeah, IRGC uh, Navy. So we're gonna put all of these on you, and you're gonna be built on 8th of October 2004, the first one of them. So we're gonna have four uh, Revolutionary Guard ships which are gonna protect and mine the Persian Gulf. And we'll see how uh, well we've designed anything. Anti submarine, that's fine. Anything else that we wanted to change? I don't think so. I think this is pretty good. I think the Hormos class has a bright future. It's a Corvette, you know, it's a very small ship, but it's gonna be good. Okay, so with that said, we can unpause the game and continue with our plans. So the Royal Research Institute is gonna be done soon in 37 days. How is the production of everything else going? So we are missing only 67 armored personnel carriers, which are going to be done in, well, a year and something. Well, a year and a quarter, it looks like. Uh, the main battle tanks are going to take 1500 days. That's about four years. And the infantry fighting vehicles are actually going to take much longer, 2,789 days. Okay, well, but, you know, still doing better. And we are currently upgrading the infantry weapons. Still need over 70,000 of those. <laughs> but alas, you know, it is what it is. Okay, setting up money. We're going to start repaying the debt as fast as we can, because that is something that we need to do. Uh, we're actually upgrading the... Um, the intelligence agency with the agent source. I don't know if the overseas recruitment center actually gives us a new agent slot every time we get it. Okay, agents recruitment. Actually, I really do hope that I understand it correctly and it's just not going to give us an extra agent to choose from, but an actual agent slot. The game could screw me over like that if it wanted to. Oh, they lowered our influence. The bastards. It's down to 9.45%. Oh, that, that's bad. Robot will try to keep a positive mind. I don't know if infiltrating civilian... Uh, infrastructure and administration would do something for us. Hold on, wait. Can check it, can't we? Receive civil infiltration in Iraq. I'm not sure what it's gonna do, to be quite honest. Okay, let's keep repaying this debt. We need to lower the interest rate from 3.2%. Doesn't seem like much, but it is about 3.2% more than we want to pay. But still, I mean, we've already discussed this a million times, and I know that I say that every single time, but, you know, when it comes to the economy, if it's the growth of the economy or uh, the lowering of the debt, I'm going to always choose growing of the economy. The ADGMs, we are upgrading them pretty nice. That's two per day. Not bad. Okay, we can get another military doctrine here. So we started with the decentralized warfare, which gave us the planning speed, and now uh, we could go over division speed and recovery. Division recovery and organization of leg inventory. I think that is actually the most important one for us. Though Actually, you can We are not using the leg infantry at all. No, we're actually using the motorized everywhere. So, leg infantry isn't really that important for us. 
tanks, organization, artillery, combat battalions, mechan. Yeah, I think we have to start with it though. Either way, unfortunately. One thing that we might actually consider though is the schools. Both attack, professional, physical. Was there anything that would give us more armor experience? Nope. Relief of command, entrenchment speed, and max entrenchment would be good. But nothing to write home about. Reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is pretty good. Breakthrough. But many will, uh, will disagree with that. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing that would give us more army experience. So, okay then, let's um, let's take the foot infantry. Foot infantry tactics are important, as in case as in case situation gets dire, foot infantry will have to carry on the war's weight. Yep. Okay, well, if that is what you think is gonna happen. Then I will get the wing infantry. Okay, 13 days. And we are getting the research speed of plus 2%. Okay. Now, with that said, we can continue with DNA research. Another boost to the genetic engineering technology. We actually got one with 50%, but we can get another one with 100 So, cool. We pay the debt a bit. It's good that these ones, uh, or these focuses cost nothing, so we can actually cultivate the economy and repay a bit of debt. Yeah, we already lowered by 0.3%. That is more than you would usually expect. Okay, okay each two, two. The new phase of the economic part would be great, but... Unfortunately, we can't do it. We need to keep influencing Iraq. 9.45. Well, I guess that's why the... Uh, the focus here that gives us free Shia government there is so cheap. Because it's almost impossible to get 30%. Yeah, we got... Near a 12, but it's nowhere near what we want to do. Alright. How many more days? Something, something days. Okay, so we get the GPRS and the microcomputing. Amazing job. So, can we get. Yep, we can get improved computing. Computers are becoming more and more popular as time goes on. Computers can now sit comfortably on a desk, allowing for people to have the ability to play games, write papers, and many other comforts that people have never thought possible. Education cost, mobilization, reset speed. Yeah, we're gonna go... Actually, no, let's get the edge. This is a bit ahead of time, but still cheaper than this. Well... Position speed. Output 525 days. I'd rather like it if we could do the construction next, but we can get this one too. Okay, well, you know what? Hard choices. Improved computing for you and edge for you. Unlike UMTS, enhanced data rates for GSM evolution doesn't require new base stations on a new frequent or new frequency allocations. Through the introduction of sophisticated methods of coding and transmitting data, Edge delivers higher bit rates per radio channel. So that's another 10% boost to research. Yep, we're down to minus 28%. Nice. Speeding up stuff all the time. Good, good, good. Now I need to get you done, and we need to keep lowering dip and refine. Okay, now we have a 90% network in Saudi Arabia, so what can we learn about you? Okay, you got 25 civilian factories, you got 27, and you got 9 military, and you got 10. So we are 
getting better. Vladimir Putin of United Russia single-handedly defeated all challengers because they are in prison. And you got AI militia brigades, mechanized brigades, infantry, AI heavy air assault brigades. Okay, those sound scary. So let's hope that's ah nice. We finally rolled our interest rate, saving about fourteen million per week. But you know, small changes equal large scale results. So I think it's like seven days. Eight days, something like that. And the national of the recruit chance, apply from the national of the recruit chance. Caravachar. I think this might be Karabakh, actually. And just today I read that. A uh, new conflict started there between Azerbaijan and Armenia, yep. Maybe. Trying to see DNA strands is like trying to see stars on the opposite side of the universe. You need a powerful telescope to do so, or in this case, a microscope. DNA is bound to show us some interesting things that we, can, that we could use in our genetic research attempts. So let us see what we can see. DNA facts. Are you a scientist working in the field of genetics? Are you as broke as the Iranian Millennium Dawn modding team? Very not, because the we as the Iranian government will pay you to do genetic stuff. Too bad Millennium Development Team. Okay, 2% accessibility, war support plus 3, and health cost lowered by 2%. Yeah, 81% stability is really nice. Okay, now we're paying a tax cost of 1 factory. But other than that, we are golden. Okay, we finished. Nice! Okay, so we are getting an extra recruitment slot. Next level is not giving us another agent sword. Okay, so that means we are not that interested. I might do, do a little counterintelligence here just to make sure that we are not the target. Okay, 75 days, an agent recruited in 29. Cool. Okay, let's repay this. How are we doing on, on the GDP? Nearly 1.3 trillion. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What about the population? Is it growing? Nope. 66.27 million. Yeah, we need those genetics uh, boosts. Okay, Iraq has been influenced once again. The whether or not that happened. Oh yeah, 12.73%. Turkish election. The SP has been re-elected. What is DSP? Oh, it's the Social Democrat Party. I don't even remember that one. I guess I was too young to remember it. 2004... What was that? It was 17? Yeah, 17, I think. Angola took three states. Well, the end of the war there is happening. So we have six factories working on the military factory and 15 working on the civilian one. How are we doing in Tehran? We still can do 10 extra factories. That's crazy. And then we can start looking at this province. Okay, DNA backs. So, extra 2% stability and health cost. And the last one. Freezing of human sex cells and embryos. Two words. Sipor soldiers. Actually, that was a typo. It meant to be... It meant to say super soldiers, but regardless, we could always test on embryos to make the most genetically perfect individual to force into the military. So additional 5% stability, 50 political power, 1% extra research speed, and social spending cost rolled by 3%. Cool. 
Okay, how much uh, of the health cost we would see? Yep, it is dropping quite significantly, but not as much as we would need it. But we'll see. You know, we're getting slightly more money now as we're repaying the debt. And if we could actually boost the economy to fast growth, it would uh, make it worth our time. But it, at this point, it's still fine. The dam construction in the west might be the next focus that we'll do. It's just 30 days and it gives us 25.64 billion in treasury. Oh, is that a 7 freeway? It's fun. Kumarakasi get infrastructure. One more infrastructure in Sistan and Baluchistan. One building zone. Actually, Sistan and Baluchistan, we have already upgraded it quite a few times. Uh, 2 out of 5, that's actually not worth it. Omit Abbas, Goli Parasi, Infiltration Effectiveness, Double Agent Well Groomed. Oh, I'll take Gully Parasi. And we can actually try to infiltrate the military and the navy. Let's infiltrate the civilian administration. You're gonna stay there. No, actually, no. We'll use you for this. I took excellent. Uh, Commands one ready. Prepare. Okay, so let's see how well this is gonna happen. Six percent. Indian election. Narachandra Babu Naidu forms new government. Nationalist outlook. Not great news for the British or anyone for that matter. But we don't really mind. Okay, the counterintelligence. Is important. Okay, monthly auto influence. And the, here's the Angolan civil war ends. It happened actually a couple of weeks ago, but still, the Angolan civil war has come to an end. Raging since the 1970s, the conflict was fought between two former independence fighting allies, the MPLA and the UNITA. MPLA, MPLA, ally of the former Soviet Union, has managed to overcome and defeat UNITA. We're actually working on this one over seven days. I did not work, okay. Freezing of human sex cell embryos. Okay, the vehicle balance is increasing. Good, good. Take Kardashian. Principalist. Kardashian. Kormar Kazi. Kratil Yuristan. I like the idea of getting more infrastructure, but. Not sure if that is worth it. At least the way they are showing it to us. Yeah, I think we're gonna go next for the reverse engineering. This is gonna be a long one, revitalizing the military. Okay, we get a bit of war support and one military industry, not great. Then we get bonuses to a lot of things. But we get construction and research speed, which is good. Then more construction and research speed. And then here we get two military industries, for actually three military industries. And then a bonus to land doctrine. So that makes more sense. Okay, so let's start with the revitalization of the military. The military has become 
fear the other equipped due to years of mismanagement. If we are to have any chance at revitalizing the military, we will have to ensure the production of equipment ourselves. Good. So let's continue. And I'm gonna end when we get the counterintelligence in 26 days. Yep, the operation here is commencing. How are you guys doing? Agents will use diplomatic passports to enter the country and move around. We expect enemy counterintelligence to try and tail them, but this can be overcome with sufficient training. Bonus outcome 50%. Okay, well, Iraq is going to be one of our primary targets. So, yeah, we're back to 15% uh, influence. Could we start improving relations? I mean, that would completely negate our growth, but at least as far as political power goes. Organic campaign. Foreign recruitment campaign. Uh, give them money. Expand the border tories. Yeah, we're nowhere near are ready for either of these. Okay, nothing over here. So let's just wait for the counterintelligence to happen. We'll go in an episode after that. So let's repay the debt. And bait. Still haven't really... Oh! No, we haven't. But... I think a balance increased to 810 million. Good. 17% of Saddam. How would, how would we be doing here with the possibility to topple his regime a 29 percent chance so it's more likely than we're gonna topple him i wonder if i put this on again oh i think i cancelled it yeah that's not what i wanted to do wait no Oh no, we actually. S huh? We have 17%. I'm confused. I'm a bit confused what we just did. Uh, we'll have a monitor and check on it. Okay, and we finished the first level of counterintelligence. I'm gonna take a bit of a break from that because we are finishing the factory in Tehran and the military factory in Tehran. So we're gonna probably schedule a couple more civilian factories, maybe an office sector. We'll see. Uh, we need to increase the income at this point, but lowering the debt, I'd like to lower it to at least 28% at this point, for which uh, this focus would be good. 25.64 billion would make a dent into the debt. Not a big one. But a significant one. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next episode.